I get to introduce Glenn. He, if you don't know him, for those of you that are guests, he had an idea. He goes, you know, wouldn't it be cool to come up with a show? We'll call it uh, Undercover Billionaire. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of masquerade around and get with employees that don't know the, you know you. And of course, the show, they go, we like that. And they did the show. The very first episode, if you want to look it up, of Undercover Billionaire is Glenn Stearns, everybody. Give him a hand. <laughs> Thanks, Seth. So, well, Glenn, it's exciting to have you here. So tell us a little bit about Success Lending and how it came about and, and, and why the partnership and why EXP. Well, you know, I, I tell you, thanks, Brent. It's, it's a, um, you know, in the past, I had been 30 years in the mortgage industry, 30, 33 years, actually. And, you know, growing a, a company that we became the number one company in the country and then taking some time off and reevaluating and seeing what I did right, what was something that I wanted to do again. And one of them was these partnerships really um, kind of live a life of abundance, not scarcity, and having something where we could come together. So meeting Glenn Sanford, who obviously is an awesome man, um, you know, we came together and thought, well, why don't we do something where we can all share, right? So I've got my experience with all the crew that I've had from the past and then bring something that goes out that everybody at EXP can own and be a part of and have some success. Uh, so far, you know, I mean, we just got off the ground, right? We've got 55 loan officers, okay? We're doing about 25 million a month right now. Uh, we've got, uh, let's see, uh, we're in 30 something states so far. So it's really starting to really have Not some bad roots for, grow. you know, the last six months to a year. Yeah, exactly. So you guys have been well. busy. So if you're out there, go see Success Lending, go to the booth, because here's the deal, 50% of all the profit from Success Lending, Glenn Sanford's dumping back in to the revenue share pool. So it's pretty cool, I mean, to be able to, yeah, to benefit from home warranty, title, lending, healthcare, I mean, that those profits, 50% of those profits are going back into revenue share. That's pretty cool. So it is your company. It's not healthcare. It's not title. It's not home warranty as you know it or the lending business. Right. It is your business. So make it great. I know I'm, I'm into everything. Second question for you. You've, you've been around 30 years. You heard him say. I think this would be, that would mean it's, this is your, I think for sure third, if not fourth market shift. So Glenn, what is the defining difference for those that have gone on to make it through a shift in, in the lending world and the agents? You've been around real estate agents right. for 30 years. What was that characteristic that made them thrive? Well, you know, you hit the point, it's thrive, right? Because a lot of people, you get the mindset of, you know, this is the end. This is, I'm in the worst market ever. And it's, it's kind of like, you, you know, those Navy SEALs are all sitting on the beach together. You can either sit there and think about yourself being cold and you know, or you can think everybody else is starting to really, you know, wind down. They're all getting nervous, they're all getting tired. And that can give you strength. Because when you're in a down market, you have to find those tricks to get yourself to realize that you can weather the storm. And that's really all it's about, is being strong enough to weather a storm. And so when I look back at especially 2007 and eight, that was a bad one. Uh, you know, we ended up in the middle of that downturn, took advantage of that by grabbing great talent and opening offices. We opened five offices in, in November of 07. We opened five more in 08, and we opened 100 more in 09. So all because everybody else was distracted, nervous, afraid of what was happening versus going and having, you know, a little guts and, and going for it. So being gripped by fear is not a good plan. That's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing just go for it. I mean, 100 in 2010, that's the opposite of everything we saw. And that is how you become a billionaire. So, uh, man. Well, I think at this point we have the president of Success Lending out there at the booth. Sean's Sean. out there, right? Yeah, go see him. Any, any final words for everyone that we would encourage everyone with? Well, you know, again, I look at, I'll, I'll go back to the undercover billionaire thing for a second because, you know, I had gone through a phase of business being great. And you got a lot of us out here that maybe you're feeling, 
you're at the top of the world. And then I got hit with a health problem, right? I had cancer. And it realized, man, it was level set, right? I mean, life wasn't all about just making money. And so what I realized, and I kind of put this in my daily life, is that for me, I wanted to feel alive again. I wanted to go out there and do things. Look at what you're doing, Brett. I mean, this whole thing is amazing. Congratulations. And really, and so when, when I was asked if I wanted to uh, do a TV show, I had told the, the group, I said, I, no, but I'll tell you what I would do if you want one, put me in the middle of nowhere, no money, no contacts, and I bet I could redo it again. And what I realized was a lot of times when we get older, we kind of pucker up, right? It's like, let's protect. You know, we don't want to. Don't pucker up. You just yeah. heard him. Don't pucker up. We're getting t-shirts. Don't pucker. Just exactly. don't pucker. Exactly. And so I said, what the hell? I'm going to go for it. And I had everybody from Richard Branson to John Elway saying, why in the world would you want to go do it all over again? And the answer was, I want to feel alive. I want to test myself. And it really was something that I've never been more proud of. And so I think the same thing goes in life. You know, when you've got something and you're afraid, you just got to push through the fear. So. That's it. So now, so yeah, give him a hand, everybody. So double down, come out to the Success Landing booth, give him a shot. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks.